Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Austin Inferno Fire Dragon here, and today we're doing another cosplay armor video. This one is called Crescent Arctic Burst Fury. This is a custom one, so let's get on with it. I'm using the unicorn as a base. This is its unicorn mode, as you can tell by the single horn, both front and back, and then this is in its destroyer mode and the destroyer mode from the back. Next is for the upgrades are the this is a custom one called Draco Marius. I'm gonna be adding on to both hands. I thought the video was still going, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, what I'll be doing is adding in two Draco Marius to both hands. This would be in its gauntlet form, the side view this is the chain, the second form it, the armor has, which can be used like the, like um, a chain mace would be used by a knight. And yeah, that's for that. Next is another custom weapon. So the energy claws can be used if you're if the grappling hook grappling gun can't be used so the claws can be used to dig in and just climb up same with the grappling gun if you can't use the claw if you because the claws would make noise the grappling gun can be used for the silent approach up and energy whip can be used to different colors and everything along with the claws can do that Next is the dagger gun from Transformers because it can be either used as a dagger or it can be switched into its gun mode because with this it's nobody would nobody can know what you're doing till it's too late. You can either have it in dagger form, they'll expect you to have it in gun form, it'll be in dagger mode. If they're gonna expect you to use dagger mode, you'll be using gun mode for it. Another weapon is the Cosmic Rust Gun from Transformers. It This is when it's not in use is a shield, but when it's in use is this very awesome looking rifle. Also going to be adding in the missile pods from the... Cherum Gundam to be on the front of the skirt and it can be on both sides of the legs, both the left and right side of the legs to where missile pods will pop out and just fire. And when they're in, when they when the missiles are out, they'll just slide back into the legs. Also gonna be adding in a GN drive to the armor so it can have the extra speed along with Trans Am, a GN field, particle camouflage, and yeah. Next is going to be the guitar bow. Um, as I, the sword form, the arrowheads, long bow, compound bow, and recurve bow. Next is the head Vulcans, the, the the unicorn and the banshee have the same Vulcans, but it, since it doesn't have enough, I would be adding in the Vulcans from the Star Build Strike Galaxy Cosmos, so it wouldn't have to always rely on its main Vulcans, it had extra Vulcans. Next is another custom weapon. It's a shield and sword, short sword. Then the sh sword can be put into the sheath to make a great sword. Next is a 
the shoulder Vulcans from the Wing W, Wing Zero EW from the Eternal Waltz movie from Gundam Wing, and it will. I'll change the colors to where it'll match, so it won't be easily spotted. So then that way, when the Vulcans pop up, when the opening, when this is open, it'll be more seen. Next is a gun sword. Uh, this would be in its gun form. Uh, easy for carrying and concealing, and then it's sword mode for dual wielding, or you can shoot uh, both together. Next is a crescent, the crescent rose full bloom, and it can be since it with how the compact form is, it can be put on the back of the armor on the small of the back so it can be easily concealed I'll have it change to match the colors of the armor and everything next is uh, the taser lines from Jaeger November Ajax from Pacific Rim Uprising so that it can stun the enemy and take them out quickly and lastly is the color scheme so basically what I'm doing is three metallic colors and two flat colors. It would go metallic red, then it would go white, then it would go metallic gold, white, metallic blue, white, and then green. And that way the armor, then the color scheme would repeat, and then you dip, and then for the Hydra dip, you just basically dip the armor, the piece you're taking, you can just dip it in and move the paint out of the way and pull it out and bada bing bada boom. There you go. And that's it for this armor. So Lost Inferno Fire Dragon signing off.